Welcome, everybody. Um, I just want to give a big thank you to James for uh, letting me present. Um, I think uh, the past few meetups, uh, pieces have been the uh, big topic around WordPress and how easy it is to use and um, how powerful it is, especially with SEO. So, uh, you know, what's the big deal? And let's find out. So, before we start, I just want to give a little introduction to myself. I'm Kurtang. You can find me on Twitter at Kurtang or email Kurtang at gmail.com. Um, what do I do? I am a full time scientist. Um, this is taken from my Twitter profile. I, I actually am not a programmer. Um, I do part time tech support for family, friends. Um, I have a website based around this, just trying to help people as much as I can. Um, I am a part time gamer, love video games. Um, I like to cook, um, but most importantly, I'm a full time geek. And so, <laughs> with the basis of this website and, and, and for thesis, I want to try and incorporate a little bit of everything onto my new website, um, sort of like a self branding. Um, and so, I'm usually can find me around Cambridge, Boston. I live out in Marlboro. It's a nice, uh, hefty drive, day in and day out. Um, so, again, thesis. Why are we doing this? Um, again, I guess my point is trying that I'm trying to make is um, why spend ninety dollars on a theme that you don't know um, is going to work, or how to use it, or if it's easy enough to, for you to use. And so, hopefully, we can try to accomplish and answer a lot of questions that you guys might have today. Um, and we'll do this by a live demo. Um, I'll be are recording this, um, so if anything, if you need anything, um, you guys can just follow up on the video. Big disclaimer: uh, I am in no way a WordPress expert, or am I a thesis expert? Uh, I actually just bought thesis yesterday. I tried it and activated it on my site uh, today, and it works. Um, otherwise, uh, that that's the extent of it. Um, this is a learning process for both of us. Um, I'm, I'm pretty fast, so if, uh, if you need me to slow down or to do something over again, um, please feel free to ask. Uh, this is mainly for the beginner slash intermediate level. Um, and again, the, the themes website is diythemes.com, and they have a lot of videos. And one of the things that I noticed when I purchased this, uh, this theme is that they have a huge forum for support um, other background images, and, and they should be able to answer most of your questions. And I can actually pull it up right now. So, thesis theme gives you total control. Let's log in. And we go to the support forums. Um, you can see there's a couple thousand posts here. Um, just just on customizing thesis the way you want it to look like. Um, you don't necessarily have to pay somebody to customize thesis, you can try and do it yourself, and hopefully it's easy enough so that we can do it ourselves. Uh, scrolling down, you know, there's other theme discussion, um, WordPress SEO, and I guess the big one right here is troubleshooting thesis. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who can answer your questions if, if I can tonight. So let's start. You know, after I downloaded Thesis, um, I installed WordPress on on my uh, my host. Um, I used Media Temple and I just installed WordPress. The new release, I think, is two point point three. Um, and this is just the backbone of WordPress. This is the generic blue blue screen that you see when you start a new blog. Um, let's go to the site admin and. Nothing here. I deleted the post, um, and the only plugin that I have installed is SuperCache, which is activated. Um, I didn't install anything else. I did activate um, Dasky, um, but that's about it. So, how do we go about installing this? I don't know if, if you want me to show you on how to upload. I know I think you had a question on uploading. So, um, I use FileZilla to to FTP or to transfer my files over to my host. Um, it's free, um, you can just download it online. So I just connect to my server um, by creating an FTP account on my host. And once it's there, it might not look the same. Uh, my files are actually over here. And 
this is the I guess the old file the back of WordPress, and you have all your files there. What you what you'd like to do is you'd actually like to install this theme under uh, WP Content <coughs> um, themes, and really all you have to do is just drag and drop. And you can I can do this right now. It might take a little time, but I I, I won't do it just for for time's sake. And once your files are there, once everything's uploaded, you can go back to your WordPress site and click Appearance, and your theme should show up right there, right here. If it doesn't, you can always try and delete it off of your, uh, off of your server and try to re-upload it. Um, but for, mo for the most part, um, the first upload should be more than enough. Well, yeah, just sorry, I, I had gone through some of this today actually with, with myself and um, such a basic question, but on WordPress.com mm -hmm. you can create a blog. Right. WordPress.org it wasn't so obvious where to do that. Because you have to create this before you can upload to the right. host, right? Right. So I think and I'm not sure if this holds true. Um, I since my since this WordPress is hosted on a, a different server than I think WordPress.com. Um, right, so WordPress.org is what I'm talking about. So okay. it's, it's, it's parallel structure. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Do you guys know? Yeah. You, you're, you're talking about how you didn't know how to start with you. Well, I mean, WordPress.com is so obvious. Not yeah, a word, so and it was not so obvious on that. WordPress.com is a very you know, click and go right. solution. Um, you know, they host it for you, they handle it, but you can't, if I'm not mistaken, you can't solve it. Um, they're a lot more restricted. If you right. want to be able to edit all this, you actually need to get web hosts. I've got that. The question is, how do you actually start the blog on .org? You don't start so on .org. Yeah. You basically download the code for it and set it up yourself. Uh, .org is just a place to download the code. Um, you're in who do you may I ask you to hosting? What? Who hosts? Who hosts? Who hosts most likely in their control panel somewhere has an option for just to set up WordPress. Okay, that installs it. And then okay. you don't need you don't need WordPress.org at all. Your your blue blue host uh, documentation yep. more details, but pretty much oh, here. So go with the blue host documentation. Yeah, because they basically go to WordPress I don't download it and set it up for you. A little more on that. Okay. All right. WordPress I is a little more developer focused. So um, I okay. Fine. So to answer your question just as a visual. So th this is this is my I have another host in motion hosting. Um, and most of the times, they have a lot of software packages for you, and um, here you can just go into software services. And for for my particular host, it's under Fantastico, and you have just <coughs> over here on the left hand side, just a, a bunch of different software that you can actually install. So, um, since I manually upgrade WordPress myself, um, it says it tells me to upgrade, but you can just click WordPress, and you should be able to just click install. Um, and it should start everything for you. Okay, and then what's the next step after this? Um, once you install WordPress, okay. you should be able to go to your site. Okay. Could you do that right now so we can see how you do it? I actually don't want to do that right now. Oh, okay. Um, just, just for this host, my other host, um, because this is actually a fully developed site, oh, I don't okay. want to install a second installation. Um, my other site, uh, Media Temple, um, I actually have to physically install it myself, so I actually download actual WordPress from, I think, WordPress.org. I unzip it and upload everything onto my server. And then you just you can just follow the instructions on WordPress.org to install, I think it's um, your domain name slash uh, install.php. Um, and you be able to install it. That would be your own. Uh, I think so. Don't quote me on it. But I can always follow up with you later on how on, on to do it. Mm. Okay, so going back, we have our available theme, and uh, let's activate it. Okay, so thesis options. Um, and this nicely done thesis 1.5.1, ready to go. Check your site now. So I'm just going to open up a new tab here. And um, this is what it looks like. It looks a lot better than the, uh, the pale blue uh, WordPad press blog. Um, does anyone have any questions on, on where to get started? Should I just go through and try and customize it the way I'd like to? 
Is there a default template that, and I'm assuming after that you can customize, is this a, like when you get to the original WordPress default template, you blue, mm -hmm. is this a default template for uh, pieces? Yes. Can you speak up a little bit? The, the, she, she's asking if this was the default template for Thesis, and um, once you install Thesis, this is what it should look like, and then you can go through and customize it, um, and we can go through some of that too. Um, do you have a question? No, no, that was point. This is the default. Yes. No, you got it right. Yes. If you if you're if you're scared, um, let's go back to uh, themes, and let's uh, reactivate our. Our default. Um, if, if you're scared about a activating, if you don't know if it's compatible, you can always preview, and this is what it will look like. And if it's the way it's supposed to look, you just activate it. Okay. Okay. So, first thing I see is document head um, and tag title and. What I'm going to assume is this is where you would put your title um, for, let's just say, like a search engine or um, the actual title of your blog. So show name and title, um, and that's what I want. Oops, sorry. Uh, it's right there. Show tagline and title. Um, I don't want that just because I know it says just another WordPress blog. Um, and we can leave it at that. You can change your titles. Any which way you want. Um, Would the tagline have any SEO value? Uh, for the title? Oh, oh for the tagline. Um, I don't think so. You know, if, if your tagline is starting to target to the concept of the website, um, but if you, you can't use the tagline, as, uh, if you have a keyword you want to optimize for, that title actually has a lot of tagline. Um, I'm, put it in. I'm not sure whether or not Google will recognize if you have the same title, you know, the same part of the title on your pages. It is, it does have some impact, um, but again, if you have an overly long title, Google will be allowed to do that. So in my case, I, you know, I, I'm not really worried about SEO. That's why I just put everything, including the kitchen sink. It, it means absolutely nothing. I can probably get home developers trying to send me sinks and, and pause the picture. Well, I'm interested to see if you can use this. Um, well, we can we can go through and find out. So, do we want to change uh, site name to page titles? Um, do we, we we can change it. Let's just say uh, E I K S, and let's abbreviate it. Um, and put the big ass button here. Um, all right, options updated. Let's see if we can see anything else. Uh, I don't, I don't have any other pages, so let's make a new page and I want to see what happens. I do. Uh, let's name this page demo. This is a demo page. Let's call it this. So there we go. E I K S. Uh, everything. So it will we'll just change the actual header. WordPress admin. So we're back in appearance and we're back at our, our main theme page. Um, and you can see right here, 
below add new themes and pieces option. This is where we'll go to some new editing. Um, home page, meta tags, um, something that you want to label your site with. Again, keywords, this is something that, that would be good for SEO. Um, you know, technology, um, cooking, <laughs> sinks, uh, kitchen, science. Um, and you can keep that home page display. Um, you can select a number of featured posts to show in a normal format on your home page. Um, this will let you show um, actual full, full posts on your home page rather than short excerpts. So again, not knowing thesis from what I can understand from this. Um, if I pick five home page displays, so it'll show the most re five most recent posts and in its entirety. And then underneath that will probably be an additional five um, small blurbs of other posts. So I'll, I can, I'll leave it at five. Um, display options. Uh, oh, header. Show site name and header, show tagline and header. Keep those the same. Um, show author name and post bylines, yes. Um, unless it's, it's yourself and you're the only one on the blog, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, show publish on date. Show number of comments. I'll show number of comments. And uh, show number of posts and categories. You know, uh, people might want to be interested in on how, what different posts I write. If I write a lot about cooking, you can see I wrote, I've written 54 posts compared to three on science, because it's boring. <laughs> Food is fun. Food is fun. And that's, what, that's the main reason why I wanted to start this uh, additional blog. Um, I digress. The, the, the display <laughs> posts. The display settings you select below only affects your features. Um, Again, this is whether or not you want your full posts or um, blurbs. Um, for the most part, if you have a really long post, I do like to use the more tag. Um, and otherwise, you know, I think, you know, for the most part, I so if you want to use more tag, you click. Um, you can, I think in WordPress, there's two options. If you're in the visual mode, you can click the more right. button. Yeah. Otherwise, you can just add this. Um, um, Area, I think um, doing handcrafted excerpts is probably, if you've got the time, a slightly better idea because it gives you just a little bit more content and you can tailor it to what somebody's actually going to read. So like a lot of times I'll just pull something out of the middle of the post or rework a middle paragraph to give people, oh yeah, I really should read that instead of right. just whatever rap randomly happened to come first in my blog. No, that's a great point because Usually if you do put excerpts, people are more inclined to actually click the link and read your other posts and the, hopefully additional posts as well. Where would you put the excerpts? Um, when, when you, so if I click just display post excerpts, oh, I see. Um, okay. it will just highlight, I think, the first couple of lines. Um, and then it will have the click more, click to read more. And then you can have the actual full, full post underneath that. No, what I'm saying is when you actually type up a post in the in the post edit, there's a second window underneath the main window for writing a handcrafted excerpt. So rather than letting rather than using the more tag and just cutting your post off halfway through or letting WordPress decide where what your excerpt should be, you can actually write your own excerpt. Um, so maybe that's something that I have on mine. There it is. Excerpt. There it is. Excerpt. So I saved, I saved all my settings and um, I, I went to make a new post since I didn't have any. And I, this is my first post. Um, stuff. Spelling. And under excerpts, um, this is to tell you about stuff. <laughs> Um, and as you can see here, there's, there's a lot of different uh, additions um, to the actual add new post section, which uh, I, I haven't seen before. Um, 
SEO detail, and additional style? Did you want to have a custom title tag? Um, by default, these is using the title of your post as contents of the title tag. You can override this. Um, let's call this demo. Um, again, your meta descriptions for keywords. So by, by making it custom, is that, that's improving the, the SEO, right? By, by changing it, is that what the goal is there? Yes, um, I think it's, it's more meant to actually change this. So right now I have it so that it's a shortened um, title instead of a full title. Uh -huh. um, and here, we'll actually label it as a demo rather than, um, I guess, equal six. Uh, that, that's what I'm taking this as. Okay, so just tagging the title. Right. So, so custom doesn't so, really mean so it. So I think it, it, as far as search engine goes, it will read this is my first post and it will associate demo with it. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, custom title tag, this changes the title. So it'll be demo it instead. The title? It'll be demo and then whatever you have in terms of anyone's Okay. Okay. We'll see when we publish. We'll see when we publish this. Um, meta description, demo, thesis, WordPress. Oh, put this on the keywords, not, not description. Uh, no index this page. Um, I'm going to leave that alone. I actually don't know what this is from time to time. Maybe we should. So if you click this, um, search engines won't read it. CSS class. Um, this is, I think, is to actually change the actual style or font face, um, whether or not you actually use HTML to change your heading, um, color. Uh, you can actually associate different CSS profiles to each individual post. Um, this starts to get a little tricky because you'll probably have to write a post in HTML format um, and associate uh, particular headings with the particular chances. So I'm going to leave this blank for now. Um, post image, I don't have any images, uh, no thumbnails, no multimedia, excerpt, and that's it for custom fields. So what is excerpt? Uh, excerpt is just a, a small little blurb about your post. Um, and so what you can do is you can write like, okay, today, like, I'll give you an example. So we have a list of posts that is the extra work we're going here? Um, it will actually be just a brief overview of what your post will be about. But where does it appear? Oh, oh, oh. Let's, let's visit it. So, so, so if, if I go to my home page, this is my first post, okay? And this is just to tell you about, and that's the blurb, that's the excerpt that I had written. But when I actually click the title to actually read the, the full article, um, it's stuff. Okay. So it, it, it's just a, like I said, it's just a short little snippet of what your actual post is about, which is completely separate from what you're actually writing about. Okay. So you could be writing about, let's just say, the Red Sox um, in the game last night. Um, you know. Now, is this something that's supported within WordPress itself, or the thesis is? This is something that thesis is. Both of them. Yes. Yes. And him crack. I, I think that's actually in WordPress. No, that's WordPress. Yeah. Thesis made momentum somehow. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go back to thesis options. So let's see, we've changed the, the document head as well as the home page. Uh, some of the display options. Okay. Oops, sorry. Um, syndication fee. Um, if you have FeedBurner or a FeedBurner account, this is where you would put it. Um, and it'll be able to tag your, your pages, or you could actually set it up as a widget on the side, um, which we can actually go do next. Um, navigation menu, just to finish some stuff up actually here on, on the thesis options. Um, 
did you want to actually put your pages on top on, on top of your your website? So here right now, all I have is home. I think yes, that's all I have is home. So let's add about and demo. Save. Let's see. <coughs> There we go. We have our about page and demo page. Can you customize the terms? You can, and, and I, um, going back to, to the features options, so under the navigation menu, usually um, most pages have an about page, something about yourself. You, you can deactivate it by just clicking this button. Um, sometimes you when you create a new page, you do want it to show up on the front page and you can actually uh, choose that option here. Um, sometimes you don't want a page to show up on that front title bar and you can actually select not to put that up there. Yes, so if I create a new page, um, so yeah, let's try demo two and publish. So the page is published. Let's take a look. Right now it's out there. <laughs> um, and I'll refresh it just to make sure. Okay. It's out there. If we go to our WordPress admin, here it's pieces options. Um, and we go under here and if we click demo two, save. Demo too. Now, is thesis controlling the photos that are going on the pages? It is, um, and I have no idea where the, where it is. Um, let's take a look. Thumbnail. It says use custom style sheet. So I went from thesis options to design options, and let's see, there's a mini box. Nope. Here it is, rotating images. Um, I can put a video up there. Um, I can add my own code, or I don't have to show anything at all. Um, so you can put your own images. You can put your own images, and I think. Um, where you need to do that is, if we go back to our um, FTP client mm -hmm. to transfer files, um, it's under WP content, themes, thesis. Uh, um, it's not under images. It's under rotator. 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 Okay, there it is. So you can delete these and just add, upload your own pictures. I'm guessing they're all a big size, correct? Right? Um, I would think so. Um, I, oops, sorry. I actually don't know. Um, if not, oh, I don't, that's odd. Um, if not, I, I, um, you might just have to resize it to the actual you can probably find the measurements of the actual pictures that are actually on the server itself and just pull it up. Mm -hmm. So, again, it just rotates through. Um, 
any other questions? Is your mind well, well, I, well, before I go into the design options? Uh, can you what you just showed us is how you would that would be the file, the folder you would load in your images that you could rotate in and out? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, again, any image you love to your, upload to your rotator folder. Um, I just didn't give permissions to actually access this through the website. The only way I can do it is through the FTP file. Yeah. Does anybody know if the search engines treat uh, text in an excerpt in the short description is the same as anything else on a page? As opposed to a full post? I think, do, do, does, a, does a search I mean, engine read the excerpt? They're, and they're presented in the same exact fashion. Um, they're treated differently because they're different content. Does that answer your question? No. Thank you. Yeah. Now, for creating the page, we use a certain uh, template. And if you create another page, then use the same template. Do you or does anyone here know if you can mix and match templates? And so, let's say you click on the demo two page, it doesn't have the same sidebar, or it might have rather than the, uh, the rotator layout. image gallery. Yep. Yeah, yeah you can make. So you, so you can make different templates, um, and it's right here under under template. Yeah, if you click that drop down there, it's more than okay. So you can pick archives. There's no sidebar. That, that's an option that I think Thesis puts in. I'm not sure if, if uh, the the base. Yeah. Drop down, there's nothing there. So you can you do have the option of no sidebars. Yes. Um, well, it looks like you could build your own custom template. Yes. Instead of actually having to. If you click that now, there's probably nothing in there. Setting that up, I believe, needs to be done programmatically. Yeah. Say that again? Setting that up needs to be done programmatically. There's no way to go in the interface here and set up, well, I want this template that looks like hard, but I think the template's all set aside. Yes. Yes. So uh, I'm not going to go into that um, creating custom templates because that does require a lot of code. If you. If that's something that you care a lot about, uh, the Atawalpa theme, which is the f sort of the free competitor to pieces, you can actually turn up to like four sidebars on and off individually on every page. Uh, and then there's also the plugin, the Flexa widgets plugin, which allows you to turn widgets on and off individually for each individual page. Between those two things, you can probably accomplish anything you're looking to do. Great. Is that the Alpha? Ado Walpa A T A H U A L P A. It's a, it's another theme. It's uh, uh, thesis is way easier to use, but Ado Walpa has a little more power behind it, um, more ability to move stuff around to get in there and move the guts around. But it's a lot harder to use. Can you spell it again? A T A H U A L P A Ado Walpa. I thought that one of the uh, selling points, if you will, of pieces was the stuff was easy to move around. It, like if you were, you know, you want, like you're saying, you want to get rid of the sidebar or move, you know, move around. Is that only on the custom template though, where you need to do a lot of coding? No, no. So we can we can actually go through some of the widgets here. So, like we said before, this this actual rotating image theme can actually be removed. You don't have to put that there, um, and that would just make your post uh, stand up. Right. Um, in place of that, you could add widgets, um, and we can go through that now. Let's see. Um, widgets. So sidebar one, sidebar two. Um, let's <coughs> let's put archives. In. Sidebar one, and let's. Does it really need two sidebars? I think it does. Um, I'm not sure that it, you can add any more. Let me let me save this and. Um, site layout columns. Um, I'm going to keep the 
is two columns. Um, so here, it, it, it well, does that, give, Because it limits you to three columns, that implies that it limits you to two sidebars. Because you wouldn't have three sidebars in, in three columns. Right, so, th well, actually, if, if I chose two columns, yes, one would be my widgets or my sidebar. Um, and so it wouldn't, you wouldn't have that second sidebar there. Yes. I mean, because it limits you to three, by definition, it limits yes. you to two sidebars. Yes. So you can, you can arrange your sidebar is it in your, your three different ways. Um, you can put the sidebars on, on both sides, uh, to the right, to the left. Um, I'll keep it one on each side for now. Um, feature box. Uh, let's, I think this is uh, maybe one of your headlining posts. Uh, maybe you interview you build games or something, and, and you know you want this on your main page. Um, you know, we'll, we'll put this full width above our content and sidebar, so it expands across the whole website. And uh, we can show this on the home page or site wide. Um, I'll keep this on home page only. And uh, right now, the thing you do with your access hook. Okay. I have no idea what that means, but. I think it's a, a plugin. Oh, a thesis hook? Um, in what context? It's, it's anything like a WordPress hook. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. It, it, it allows you to, again, programming, uh, similar to how with WordPress you have plugins, it allows you to have a thesis hook. But again, it's a good thing. Okay. Well, I thought a hook is, is, as you go through the WordPress cycle, a hook allows you before or after each step in the cycle in effect, override the default settings of WordPress and do something custom. Isn't that what it's looking at? Right, but that overriding happens in code. Uh, exactly. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. right. Okay. Well, let's save this. Um, so we made some changes. We have the big headline, and we've also changed the, uh, the two different sidebars. Um, we actually don't have anything for our headline right now, so let's, let's see if we can make something here. find this can you control font size mm -hmm. um you can uh, I think for the most part you'd actually have to use HTML um, so you go into the design option Oh, 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 I, 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 thought, I thought you, oh, sorry. I, I didn't know if you meant per post or actual font size throughout oh, well, the like blog. Oh, like a CSS, yeah, either way. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, I can make this uh, just a header one. Hmm? Oh. The only the only other thing that we um, added was the the big headline title, and I am going to assume that this is under the custom field thesis title thesis keywords. Um, again, headline. Um, and let's publish this and see what happens. Okay, so we have our headline, go to our homepage. I don't see anything. And it doesn't span across, so I actually have no idea now. This is the part where I guess I'm trying to learn too, and you guys are trying to learn too. I don't know. Does anybody have any idea? What are you trying to accomplish? Um, your design options. 
there is a feature box. So if, you um, click, if you click on the display options, it'll show you this book. You have to put that into, into the HTML of your, of your page. And what it'll do is when it goes to display that page, it will put it in the right place on, uh, your, on your page. But there's a thing you have to put into the, the HTML to make it Okay, so I'm not going to do that now. This is something where I would, if anything, if I didn't know, I would actually have to look up on the other thesis forms. I was I was kind of poking around at thesis um, yesterday, and I found this site called Thesis Hacker, and thesis, I think it's just thesishacker.com, and there's like 150 how tos that are like written for like people like me or not like a coder. And they go into like all the gory details about how to do all, finish all these hook things, and and they tell you exactly how to do it, and then they give you the an example, a worked example of it. So it's actually a pretty um, a pretty helpful site. Yeah, that's the one. So this site just has like just tons and tons of. Uh, how to's on how to customize these, pretty much everything you can think of, and all of different things. Like if you scroll down under categories and look for hooks, they'll tell you how to do it. Or feature box, there's feature box right there. Sorry, feature box. Um, using the feature box. They give you like all the instructions on how to do a lot of this stuff on this site. I, I was pretty impressed uh, by the how comprehensive. Okay. Is. So I would have to have, I guess, a header image and some stuff which I would want in the feature box. Um, this will require editing code. So it says right here in in your custom functions at PHP, um, you'll have to add this. Um, I'm not going to go into that touching any code tonight. Um, I don't want to confuse anybody more than what I've already done. <laughs> All right, so what else do we have? The font sizes, like you had mentioned. Um, under thesis design options, I can pick my font, um, we'll, we'll leave it at Georgia, um, apparently it's a web safe font, um, it's making this size 16, so I'm blind, I'm having trouble reading this. Um, our navigation menu, um, you know, let's make this, let's make it aerial, and we'll make this 14, get everything bigger. Header. Um, I'll keep that the same. Headlines, um, bylines, code, multimedia box, sidebars. Let's make our sidebars sidebar small. And the footer a little bit bigger. So our page, our page bars um, are a lot bigger. Um, you can see our our sidebars are a lot smaller. Um, it's actually very easy. It seems pretty, pretty simple to just change the size and and or the font. Um, the columns will be like framework. Um, uh, customizing thesis design. I'm not going to touch this. Uh, I'm not customizing my design. Um, so I'm going to leave it as is. And page padding, how much white space do you want around your actual border? This is something where if you have a, a custom background, did you want your picture to be spread across the entire website, or did you actually want to have a, a, a white border? Um, since the background's white already, uh, it's really not going to make much of a difference here. Um, 
and save just to make sure. Um, does anybody have any other questions? I mean, uh, I think. Uh, I'm just um, wondering on um, all these design options, how are they different from the design options that you can find on some other game? Um, I'm not sure about the design options, and I think that's something where you can actually go to the actual support website and and try and find a theme um, or, or just a, a different CSS rather than the basic one. Um, how like like this. What you're showing us is unique pieces. Right. I think because right now I have I have a, on my website I have a custom. Um, theme and a lot of this is new to me. I don't have any of this where I can change my my sidebars, uh, the sidebar position, change the actual font size or the actual font of the particular headings. Um, all that stuff. If I really wanted to change it, I'd, I'd have to go into the code and actually do it myself. Um, here, it just makes it a lot easier. It's a lot more front end rather than back end. Do you know if it's possible to have you know the navigation thing with home and out and demo like what you had before. Is it possible to have another one of those at the very bottom of the page? The same pieces? one or a different one? It's the same yeah, one. Yeah. Let's, because you know how sometimes you know if you've got like a, a long post, you want the navigation at the bottom of the page as well as at the top because it's much more convenient for users. They don't have to scroll all the way back up to the top to move around the site. So if it is, if there's not an automatic setting, it's very easy to do in the PHP, but you have to go into the code. Okay. Basically, you can go to the header and clip that and just copy that, that section out and add that to the footer. To the okay. That's how the theme is kind of broken apart. And it's not, and you're not having to hand code anything, you just basically copy and paste. So. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, just to let you know, oh, sorry, go ahead. I think that, yes. Yep, yep. So you you're actually downloading a CSS on top of thesis to make it. Better. Yes, and I think um, right here under thesis options, there's the. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I think, I think, again, it's under the support forms where you can actually go under customization um, or sorry. Yeah, it is under, it is under customization um, or if it's a feature request. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. Did you, oh, did you have a question? No. Okay, sorry. Yeah, otherwise, I... I I don't know about the CSS, and that's something that I think you can just search. I think there's a lot of support out there, and I think the, the community is big enough where if you have a question, they'll be able to put it in the right direction. Yeah, the author, Chris Pearson, said that if somebody has a problem that you can do that they were going to go to get there, like a showcase of CSS where you can download and you can see them all the download. Is there a Under themes, thesis, um, I think it's under custom, and um, you have your you have your custom CSS and your custom background <coughs> CSS. Um, I think you just have to. Yeah, I think there's more than that. What you do is you download the custom CSS to your local drive, edit it, and then upload it again. And basically, that overwrites. Where thesis has a lot of default CSS. And then custom CSS basically overwrites your own preferences on top of that. And in fact, substitutes your preferences for that, but only in the areas that you specify. So it takes all the defaults that you haven't in effect overwritten. Yep, and, and here's what the actual custom CSS file says. Um, I don't know if you can read that. Let's see. Oh, it's like one of the like, child fields. 
Yeah. Um, if you have enabled custom style sheet in the features option panel, the body tag will be appended with a custom class. You can use the custom class to override any CSS declarations. Um, so it's kind of like the normal CSS hierarchy where you have three levels and then the one that's specific to a page overwrites. Yep. You know, the general, it's the same kind of concept. Right. And the most important thing is don't put any customization in your custom folder, don't put it anywhere else. Because when you upgrade places, everything else will get over there. So custom is basically where you keep your own personal stuff. And the thesis will never override that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's, I think that's unique to your thesis. It's so powerful is that you don't go into a folder and you have these stuff. Right. These are the files, functions, and the CSS that, um, you know, allow you to make the changes. And, and I think that goes back to your point. You know, that's where compared to my custom theme, you know, I, I can do all of this without having to code, right? Yeah, if you stick to that convention, you know, upgrade pieces, and just make code, yeah. 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 start actually the core Right, because every time you upgrade WordPress, or, or, or if you have a change to your particular theme, if, if let's just say, your, your web developer, you know, needs to update it, it will probably get over it. Yes? Let's say you want to have, I don't want a site where the home page for the site is like a static page, like let's say you're doing a business site and you want the the front page to be, you know, here's the business and whatever, and then maybe a subsidiary page is, a, is the blog. How would you do that? How would you make the front the front page for the site not be the posts? Um. It's a WordPress option. It, yeah, it is a WordPress option, and I think. To make a page, the home page? Yeah, it's under yes. settings. Under reading, I think. Yeah, the other thing is, I, I just didn't come to my site. Um, basically, put in the custom, the custom underscore functions PHP file, and create a function that is a custom home page, and it can, you know, I think what makes this a little bit better with, with thesis is that you can remove the sidebars, so you have that single main page rather than whatever you might have, like links and, and, and login. Um, any other questions? I'm, I'm, I'm here to try and answer some questions for anybody who has any idea. Yeah, it, it, in, in my opinion, I mean, I, uh, so what I've used this for just under an hour now. It seems pretty. It seems pretty intuitive, but I think if I spent more time on it and I wanted to really customize the look of the site, I definitely have to go deeper. Um, one of the things that you should probably do is just, if you have a new blog, um, fool around with it before you actually put it to development. Um, so if you make any mistakes, you can always just start over again. Uh, Otherwise, you know, it, it, I think a lot of it's just just playing around how you want it to look. Um, you know, there's the, definitely the custom boards that they have, um, which which is supposed to be very powerful. The custom board. The the boards, the actual oh, thesis board. boards. Yeah. Sorry. But otherwise, it, I mean, does anybody have any questions? Does anyone want to fool around with it? Okay. I actually um, haven't started using WordPress yet. So would you say this is easier than, or better in some way? Would you recommend using this over standard? Um, it's hard. If you haven't used WordPress before, I would just start off with a basic WordPress theme. Um, there's a lot of themes online that are free that you can try and fool around with. Uh, I think once you get accustomed to WordPress and the actual backbone of the, the software itself, then you might want to consider it. Um, it. It's hard spending the money right up front, not knowing how to fool around with WordPress to begin with. I don't know if anybody else has anything to do with that. I mean, I've 
mean, I've used expression. I, I, I know the, I get the idea. I just no, specifically have it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I, I think it depends on yeah how comfortable you are digging around and, and stuff like that. Um, I sorry to keep plugging it, but it's my favorite theme ever. The Atahualpa theme. Um, how do you spell it? <laughs> <laughs> like the Aztec god. Um, it actually it, it it does a lot of the same things, and it's actually a little more transparent which I think for a beginner is really good because you see what it is that's causing the stuff to happen. Um, so instead of like click boxes, it'll actually, in the admin section, it'll have like a, uh, it'll have boxes where you, that are basically CSS inputs. Um, and it, it allows you, it allows you to do a few more things, but it also really allows you to, to learn what is happening inside of WordPress. Um, My, my experience was you know, I wanted a site that looked very business-like and professional. And so I looked around for a premium theme that would have that kind of look. And I bought one, and it's working for me. Um, and with that, I kind of learned how to, how to do stuff. But now that I've gotten a little bit more um, sophisticated with it, I kind of wish that I had bought this one instead. Um, but I probably wouldn't have been able to figure out how to use this had I not tried the other theme first. But I, did, I spent 70 bucks on another theme that it's working and it's, and it's got a, a bunch of features that this one doesn't have. Or you could add them to this one, but you have to get in there and muck with it. Um, but if you're the kind of person that isn't going to be satisfied with something that comes out of the box and you want to hack around at it, I think this is a pretty pretty good one to get because it's so customizable. But if you're the kind of person that wants something really professional looking without a whole lot of hacking around, poke around at some of the other uh, premium themes and see if you can find one that really suits your, your taste because it's probably going to be a lot easier to just use that than it will be to, to hack whatever it is you like into this one. But if, if you're the kind of person that and once you get going on it, you sort of start opening up all the files and you sort of figure out how they're all put together. This is a pretty good choice, I would think. And you know, I think this is just the basic, you know, thesis. We haven't even incorporated any of the plugins, um, which would change the widgets around uh, and how you're going to style your site around. Um, we haven't had it. We haven't added multimedia. Um, you know, this is, again, this is just very basic just to, to get people started and to, to hopefully try and make a decision whether or not they want to spend the money. Yeah. I just want to share my experiences that I, I had a, uh, a project that was to review my portfolio so I was finishing a uh, web design program to go to the school of design. I wanted to be pushed out of the comfort zone. I had not done anything. I really wanted to continue. And I was thinking to Looking back, I think in, in my experience, looking back, if I, if I, when I first started WordPress, if I spent the money on this, on actually thesis, um, I'd probably be in a better position. Um, I, I've spent many times trying to, you know, back up code or back up uh, actual PHP pages um, because I've made a lot of errors, and I, you know, I did, I'm not a programmer, so, you know, I, it's just something that I had to learn the hard way. Um, Looking back, this makes a lot easier. So, if I if I continue to use this, I'll I'll, I'll sure I'll be able to 
really maintain this well and, and then fast as well. Kind of smart. Um, I have more. You mentioned about uh, plugins for multimedia. Today I just went to a presentation for uh, Mac OS X, the, the Snow Leopard server, and using podcasts, um, composer, and capture, and uh, producer. And I was wondering how easy it would be to to submit something to something like Thesis or <coughs> would, wouldn't have a problem posting it at all or you um, wouldn't require any... I mean, I, I, I happen to have been a coder or developer, so I don't have a problem. To, to promote multimedia files in Thesis? Mm -hmm. um, as far as within posts, um, I mean, it, it's a there's a there's that basic WordPress uh, multimedia uploader. Okay. When you start a new post, um, I think... Uh, if we go back, I'm, I'm, I'm new with this, so I'm just asking. Oh you. yeah, I, so so I should preface that. Um, um, besides that. besides changing this box here, which which is customizable, you can you can put your own video or pictures. Um, yeah, WordPress does come with uh, a multimedia uploader. So if I went to my post section, um, I can. There's something here where I can upload pictures, uh, music. Um, video. Uh, most of the times it's probably better to upload your video to uh, a video host like YouTube um, just because of bandwidth on your host. Okay. You'll probably kill your server. Um, <laughs> any other questions? What's the cost? Uh, was it $89? Um, and, and that's just for one use. Um, I think it's what a one use. You can right. Yeah. Um, one seventy. Yeah. One sixty four. One seventy. One seventy for multiple use. Yeah. Yes. And there's a coupon. No, it's forty dollars per site. What's the coupon? Let me look it up. You go to retailme.com. I'm sure they have it. Yeah. Excuse me. Retail so, it's, so it's eighty-seven for the single use. Retail. And I think what it's was it retail what? One sixty-four. I can't. I did, did can't someone see say it was forty dollars per and additional and site? And e. No, it's one retail sixty. Thank you. Four. It's about like almost double. For right. Um. I think. I think um, it's one sixty-four for any any of the sites you own. I think technically, if, if you are. Um, hosting other people's websites um, that aren't yours, I think you do have to pay. But if you have your own, yeah. Right, you yeah. have your own blog. Right. Yeah. right, and I think one of the other things that it, it does is it gets rid of uh, the footer um, for the website where it says, um, get the thesis for the rest of the day. You're under the license. You're yes. allowed to remove the footer. You're not allowed under the license to remove the footer. Yeah, if you remove from the personal edition, is he going to come after you? No. Yeah, so this is more like you can want to set up your own website or, or blog? Or? Um, I think it's just an easier way to set up your blog. Um, if you're not so tech savvy and don't want to fool around with the code, um, it's probably the, the, be the better option. Um, as far as customization. Yeah, but, but I already have two existing blogs on mm -hmm. WordPress already. So I don't I mean, know if I should use this feature. Right. So the best part about it is if you do spend the 164, you can use these for both of your sites and you can change the way they look. Okay. Um, as far as, you know, th is it still a blog? It, it, it is. It is still a blog no matter what because um, it is WordPress. Okay. Um, but it, I guess it's just you know, how you want it to look. Do you want it to look more like a blog where you have your post in a single column or, or did you want something more like a magazine type uh, website? Yeah. Well, my two blogs, I mean, I've gone through all those design themes that they already have on the WordPress. I mean, they're okay, but I thought I could get something a little more fancy or something. I I'm, I'm sure there's something more fancy for thesis. Um, I just. Again, I just bought it yesterday. Oh, okay. um, so, you know, yeah, I, I, I have a blog on my blog. I mean, I have some that's still a news there. magazine, but it could have looked more glossier or better looking. Right. 
one thing you might want to do is why don't you go to the um, showcase that they have on their um, site? Because you can, there's a whole bunch of um, interesting. Um, if you go to the, 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 the main thesis site, there's a, one of the tabs that showcase. Oh. And you can just click on those. Okay. Yeah, that's the site. Yeah, if you go there. Looks like it was running it. No, not, not that one. Scroll down. What's the website? What's the name of the website again? All of those. If you go to DIY theme slash thesis. Oh, okay, yeah. That's Now click on showcase. And now all of the themes, all the little things down there, those are all sites that were made with this theme customized and you can get a sense for just how flexible it is. Because these are all pretty professional looking sites. These are all done by people who just use thesis to customize it. I think keep in mind there's some additional customization I'm sure on most of these. Um, right, thesis yeah. is as much a framework as it's easy to put them together. So for example this, you probably, you know, this could just as easily be a, a, a guy who paid thousands of dollars to some design company and the design company uses this. So you really can't make any assumptions about how well I could find this you know, just for <coughs> standard 184 dollars. Well, that, I mean, I think that's the key for any of it. If you want your website to look really cool, you either need to have the design skills <coughs> to like visually figure that out or pay somebody to do it for you. I mean, the uh, uh, a theme out of the box is not going to give you anything special other than the tools to do it. It's like, you know, I can give uh, a fifth grader a box of crayons or I can give the box of crayons to Van Gogh. I'm going to get different work mm -hmm. from the same set of tools. Yeah. Because looking at this right away, I mean, I think this box right here with the scrolling stories um, is, is an actual plugin. Or, or, or they, they must have added something else to the code. Because not part of it. Again, if you're just looking at this, here's where you have the excerpts and then you can click to read the full articles. Um, so they have multiple columns within the main body. Um, and it looks like they just have one sidebar. Um, does anybody else have any questions? Just to let everybody know that the, co the coupon code URL is DIYTheamsCouponCode.com. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's on the video too. So. Yeah. It's what? On the now video? it's on the video too. Oh. <laughs> Anybody else? Or we got things up? Alright, hopefully uh this helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I don't know how much more I can do without fooling around with it on my own time. Um, I probably destroy it before I uh, make it better. Thanks. Nice.